Today we're taking a look at Airship Escort. You're probably going to see a lot of this on the channel coming up because I have had a ton of fun so far playing it. Played it all day today on stream and for the most part had a really, really good time. And I was using some very weird builds. That's what I really enjoyed here is a lot of ships can work in this game mode and really obscure non-meta builds that would normally be really difficult to make work in random battles actually do very, very well here, and Salem is a great example. You guys have probably seen the videos on the channel before if you've been around for a little while, but a max DPM build on a Des Moines or Salem is pretty nasty, and it's doable because, especially on Salem, you do have a lot of healing to uh, come back from, and the ship in itself has such strong guns that just maxing out the DPM here just makes a ridiculously powerful ship. You do have to play around islands, and I'll show you the build at the end, but it's really, really enjoyable to uh, play this DPM style of build. Unfortunately, it does seem like achievements are different in this game mode, so there's no real opportunity to gain a confederate. I'm not sure if that's exactly true or not. Let me know in the comments down below if I'm wrong. I'd very happily be wrong in this case, uh, but it seemed like only achievements that I could get were specific to this airship escort mode. So. A confederate on Halsey, which is the commander I'm using here, would give me a further 20% faster reload, which is a lot of fun in random battles. But the reason we can run it here so easily is that people are forced to push into our range. We can stay on this island here. It's a great position on this map and know that eventually the enemy team has to come to us. Their airship has to come past to us. So we can just stay here, do a little bit of early farming. We've already done 50K, which is not bad for the early game. And we could say that eventually we're going to get some value out of our ship and this position. In different, more standard battles, um, even domination games, you just sat in one spot of the map. Maybe the enemy team just never gets within your gun range, wins the map on different sides and just never has to deal with you and you lose and you're not able to actually impact the game. You have to move around. Whereas airship escort, you can take up very, very strong positions and almost lay ambushes can definitely do this in DDs. I've, ha I've seen some extremely powerful ships like uh, Shimakaze, Yu Yang with Torpedo Reload Boost, surprisingly powerful. Um, there's a lot of lanes that you know ships are going to be pushing through and you can take them out really quite easily. With some of these more obscure, very variable ships, I would say, random battles tends to be a little bit difficult on some of these more extreme builds all in on specific aspects whether it's torps or guns that kind of thing because randoms looks for more of an all-rounder style of ship less maxing out min maxing a specific area of your ship and that's why i like this airship escort you can play these weird builds and we're seeing a lot more people push in very aggressively when was the last time at the 14 minute mark on the clock that you saw people pushed this far up on this map. <laughs> it's wild, it's so much fun. Maybe that's gonna change as time goes on and people get used to this game mode again and start to optimize it. But uh, in the first little bit here, I've had a really, really good time. There's definitely been some blowouts, there's been some games that have felt hopeless. It's not like the game mode is perfect, uh, but I do think there's a lot of fun to be had here. So if you are considering maybe not playing the game or you're not having fun in randoms or ranked game modes, for example. I think this airship escort offers a really, really good opportunity to play a different ship, do have a different play style, that kind of thing, and maybe have some real good fun here. You can definitely see diving up with some friends being a really, really strong thing to do here. And I think that Wargaming's done a really, really good job on bringing this game mode back. I really, really do enjoy these different mix-ups, and I hope they can actually put this into the game more permanently. I'd love to see it as its own standalone game mode all the time. Kind of like Brawls, how they've just kind of added that in every update. They just have Brawls. Maybe we just always have an airship escort mode, and we see it at different tiers. Wouldn't it be interesting to see a more low-tier airship escort? See what that looks like? I don't know. I think it could be a ton of fun if they just changed it up slightly with the tiers, or maybe they could mess with the routes of the airships. Obviously, lower tiers get different maps, so that always keeps things a little bit fresh as well. I just really enjoy how we're forced to use the islands now. I've said this a few times. I haven't really done a full video on 
really all the problems I see at higher tier in this game, but I do think the map design is a bit of an issue here. And really what that comes down to is these islands are often quite useless in random battles thanks to such long range, accurate, powerful ships and really carriers and a lot of DDs being fast enough to give us very early spotting. So it's difficult to push up and make use of a lot of these islands since everyone's just gonna shoot from spawn to spawn over them. And airship escort changes that. It forces us to push up, push in and make use of these islands. And that's what I really, really like as well. It just changes the whole dynamic when we have uh, Napoli pushing up middle like this. Um, obviously this game I did get a little bit lucky to have most of the enemy team just sailing broadside onto me. But I do think that comes down to the position that I took as well, and that my team was holding down at least reasonably well um, to create a crossfire with me on that 3-4 line-ish. So a lot of damage pumped in very quickly. That's something Salem, especially with this build, is going to do a really, really good job of. But I'm, I'm looking forward to playing this game mode a lot more. I've already tried some of the secondary battleships. That, you know, has gone a little bit less good compared to the Salem. It's hard to rely on uh, battleships when you try and make these very aggressive, very committed all-in plays. But I've had some really good success with them as well. And of course, DDs can be a lot of fun. Like I mentioned, anything with torps like a Shimakaze or this Torpedo Reload Booster Yu Yang are very, very powerful in these chokes. And of course, the gunboats are really, really strong as well. One game, my team got entirely flanked by a Kleber, and we just never dealt with him. He was spotting our entire team the whole game, just chipping away on our backline, and we ended up losing pretty spe spectacularly. So there's a lot of opportunities for a lot of different ships to succeed, weird random flanks, and I really, really like it. It's been a fresh experience, I think, and that's really what World Warships need sometimes, is a bit of a change up from the standard randoms, and even ranked can get a little bit samey sometimes, randoms especially. Uh, so I really, really like this game mode. If you've been thinking about not coming and playing the game because it gets a little boring, definitely give Airship Escort a shot. It's a lot of fun. As for the build here on the Salem, like I said, we're all in on DPM. So we've taken no concealment. We're not even taking Superintendent here. We got heavy AP, we got heavy HE. Uh, we're also taking top grade gunner. I do want a little bit of extra health, so I am taking Survivability Expert. Uh, but yeah, we're basically all in here. I guess I don't have Demolition Expert, but I am trying to make good use out of the Armor Piercing, because it's just so good on these uh, Des Moines Salem guns. They're just really, really fun to use. Uh, reload mod, as you can see, we're taking Steering Gears even, um, alongside Propulsion means we're actually very maneuverable. Uh, that's very good for open water situations and maneuvering around islands as well. Uh, but really this ship is just all out DPM because this concealment uh, basically matches our gun range. So it's a very difficult ship to play, but you get the right situation where you can use island cover like we did. The DPM can be just ridiculous. Of course, like I said, we weren't actually able to get that Halsey Confederate. Uh, which, again, will give us t an extra 20%. It's ridiculous. If you want to see that, go check out some of the other videos I've made with the max DPM. I've done it on Annapolis, Salem, and Des Moines. I think I've done all three of those in the past in random battles where I have got this Confederate. It's, it's ridiculous. And uh, Airship Escort, man, even though we don't get that Confederate, it is so much fun. I've had great success in the Austin, a little bit in the Ohio as well, um, and a few other ships. It's just been a lot of fun to have this fresh look on World of Warships. The whole meta is just totally different and I really, really do enjoy it. So let me know what you think in the comments below, specifically about this airship escort, but even the full DPM Salem, maybe give it a go yourself. It can be a lot of fun, although it is very difficult to play. So thank you very much for watching this video and I hope you have a great rest of your day.